Have you ever pondered over the intriguing equation e equals mc2? This elegant formula, coined by Albert Einstein, bridges the worlds of energy and mass, offering profound insights into the very fabric of our universe. Dive into the fascinating world of physics as we unravel the mystery of e equals mc2. The equation e equals mc2 is not just a symbol, it's a story. A story of energy, mass, and the speed of light. In this tale, E represents energy, the capacity to do work or cause change. M stands for mass, the very substance of an object, its raw material. C is the speed of light, a constant that's incomprehensibly fast, and we square it to underscore its immense influence. Now, what does it all mean when strung together? This equation tells us that energy and mass are interchangeable. They're not separate entities, but different expressions of the same thing, governed by the speed of light squared. So as it turns out, energy and mass are two sides of the same coin. But how do we know this is true? Let's explore the proof. Picture a body gaining energy from a force, and by doing so, increasing in mass. Now consider two relationships we've previously discussed, those between energy, force, and momentum. When we apply these to our body and combine the results, a fascinating equation emerges. E equals mc squared. Therefore, the proof shows that energy gained is indeed equal to mass gained times the speed of light squared. So what have we learned from this iconic equation? Simply put, E equals mc2 tells us that energy and mass are interchangeable. We've seen that a body gains energy E in unit time equal to mc2, where m is the mass gained by the body. This is derived from combining two relations between energy, force, and momentum. EMC2, a simple equation with profound implications, truly a cornerstone of modern physics.